Now I'm gonna demonstrate the sumo barbell deadlift. Now the sumo deadlift works really well for people who are a little bit taller, whose femurs are a little bit longer, or people who might struggle to keep a neutral spine when they get all the way down to the bar in a conventional stance. The sumo stance is gonna vary, obviously, between individuals in terms of how wide they like to stand. I generally sumo deadlift a little bit wider. So when I'm putting my foot under the bar, I'm gonna think about actually putting my entire foot under the bar so that my shin is right up against the barbell. I'm gonna do that on both sides, making sure that my legs are nice and even. Just like with all the other deadlifting variations, I'm gonna set my core before I hinge back. So I'm gonna breathe in through my nose, blow out through my mouth, set my rib cage, and then I'm gonna breathe in again. Same thing on the way back, I'm gonna hinge at the hip, keeping my knees soft, and whenever I kind of run out of room, I feel my hamstrings catch, I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit more to get to the bar. At that point, my hips should be about halfway between my knees and my shoulders, although that's gonna vary a little bit depending on what feels comfortable for you. If your hips are a little bit too high, you're almost gonna Romanian deadlift the weight off the ground, and you're gonna be using mostly your lower back, you're gonna lose the quads and the, and the glutes and hamstrings, and if you're too low, then you almost squat it off the ground and you're not effectively using your glutes and your hamstrings like you could. So once I get down to the bar and grab it, it's gonna be just like all the other deadlifts. I'm gonna get nice and tight in my lats. So I'm gonna think about protecting my armpits like someone were gonna tickle me. And I'm gonna think about pulling the weight back and dragging it right up my legs. I'm gonna finish with my glutes and not with my lower back. And then I'm gonna set the weight back down exactly the same way I picked it up. So I'm gonna get set up. And when it comes to how far your toes are turned out, that's gonna be a pretty individual thing too. But I find that somewhere between mm, 15 and 30 or 40 degrees is good for most people. So get right up on the bar, set my core. Breathe in again. Push back into my hips, grab the bar, get nice and tight. Stand up with it. And that's a sumo deadlift.